Hello, this is Daniel again with my first FDBF blog post of 2013. Exciting stuff, I know. Um, today I'm here to talk about Give Smart, which is a book we're reading for our program, and also I'm here to talk about my short and long term goals and how I've changed them and how they've stayed the same. To begin, I really, really enjoyed reading chapter one of Give Smart. It really talked about many different things that I was interested in and different things and how I could evaluate my situations this semester. Um, my short-term goals from what I wrote previously within my FDDS blog post about the book Giving 2.0 suggested that I should use kindness to impact people's lives. Well, I still feel that way. I still want to do that, but I want to do it in different ways. And I really, really think that my interests lie within pe working with people really, really strong. Um, diverse backgrounds, for example. Yesterday, I worked with Keen, which is a nonprofit um, volunteering organization that helps youth with disabilities get um, physical education. And um, I really enjoyed working with the kids. It was a very fun experience. I didn't really know I would be good at working with children until then, because previously in high school, I worked with the elderly. So I feel like the elderly and youth are my two strong suits and I'd love to pursue that as a career working with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So my short-term goal was to impact kindness into people's lives and I feel like I'm doing that one step at a time. My long-term goal was to um, find a way to give that relates to my career interests and my career interests seem to change often but I want to stabilize and find something that I'm interested in particularly by the end of the semester. And with my long-term goals, I feel like I'm helping myself with that because I've been meeting with my um, faculty mentor, Professor Enchatiki de Jesus, and she's really helped me to figure out what I want to do with my career. And I really am interested in the psychiatry field. I feel like it's really interesting prescribing medicine and seeing the effects it has on somebody mentally. Um, and with that, the short and long-term goals, I've connected that with Give Smart by the um, P's, the people, problem, place, pathway, and philosophy. With concerns with people, I really want to work with the underserved and under-resourced, which is in agreement with the FDDS mission and vision, um, specifically the elderly and working with children. I'm not 100% sure about children, but I really like to see where that can take me. Um, and like I said, I really like working with people on a one-to-one -one intimate level. I feel like you can really see the change within somebody by working with them by themselves. And the problem I want to work on, um, I really don't have a specific problem in mind. I know that I just want to discover which problem I want to focus on in the next three to four years. But I'm only 18. Like, I have the next 10 to 15 years to discover what I want. I really don't think it's necessary to try to say what you want to do as a young person. You're only 18. You don't really know what you're doing with yourself. Um, the place that I want to work, probably um, within the United States. Um, I'm taking Spanish classes right now, so I would like to implement my Spanish skills with the diverse population, but still work with from the United States because the Latino population is increasingly growing, and I feel like we need people within these different specialties to help them. Um, the pathway, I like to use the power of kindness and honesty to help me with my career and with my philanthropy, and that ties in with philosophy. My philosophy is my grounded beliefs that I've learned through my parents and my own beliefs personally that I've established by myself, especially over the past semester. Thank you for watching this video.